Gaming can still feel like a young hobby, but it's really not. Some of the most important titles ever released are approaching their 20th anniversaries this year. And while it's fascinating to look back and see how these games altered the course of the hobby, it's perhaps more interesting to note the sheer level of innovation on display. It's staggering just how inventive the class of 1998 was. There have been other years that gave us a similar number of great games. Mass Effect, Modern Warfare and Bioshock in 2007 for example, but none did so much to change the course of gaming history. Here are nine games you won't believe are 20 years old. 1998 saw the release of StarCraft and its expansion Brood War. Born out of the Warcraft 2 game engine, StarCraft is notable for a number of reasons. Firstly, it marks the creation of Blizzard's film department, which provided snazzy cinematics for the game. It's hard to think of the cheerful stuff that Blizzard later created, from World of Warcraft to Overwatch, without thinking of those incredible animations. And it all started here. But more importantly, without StarCraft, we wouldn't have eSports as we know it. Sure, some other title would probably have filled the gap, but the current incarnation of the fastest growing form of entertainment on the planet owes much to the popularity of StarCraft and specifically the three-way competitive RTS established in the Brood War expansion. And finally, there's the small matter of it being the best-selling PC game of 1998, selling over 1.5 million copies worldwide. Go back to Resident Evil 2 now, and you might not immediately be struck by how bold and inventive it is. It retains the fixed camera angles of the original and those famous tank controls that seem like they're more than 20 years old because, well, they are. But persevere and you'll see why this one is so important. It features two interconnected stories, each of which informs the other. A superb setting in the Raccoon City police station, which sees you experience it from different perspectives, and those terrifying, relentless encounters with Mr. X, whose influence can still be seen in games like Alien Isolation and Resident Evil 7. It's a massive leap forward from the first game, and in fact, Resident Evil 2 is so good that Capcom had to reinvent the series with Resi 4 to better it. Grim Fandango might not offer the same depth of gameplay as other titles on this list, but it succeeds because of characterization that feels well ahead of its time. Many modern titles, indie games especially, successfully swap bombast and action for carefully crafted stories, and Grim Fandango was a great early example of just how thoughtful games can be. Manny Calavera is perhaps the ultimate adventure game hero. He's relatable, despite being a travel agent in the Department of Death, and real-life problems like disillusionment with his job give him depth character and personality. And then there's the setting, a bizarre mix of Aztec beliefs in the underworld, 1930s art deco design and a dark film noir plot. It shouldn't work, but it does. Grim Fandango is as innovative as anything else on this list, just in a slightly different way. Well, we all have our secrets. Metal Gear Solid is one of those games that uses so many modern gameplay tricks that it's hard to keep track of them all. Play it again now and you'll be surprised at just how inventive it is. As well as the stuff everyone knows, the footprints in the snow, the thoughtful boss fights, the endless codec conversations, there are little touches everywhere that make the game feel innovative. As well as being a peerless stealth game with a deep, compelling story, Metal Gear Solid is absurdly generous with its ideas, like a Nintendo game with chokeholds. One minute you're sneaking around the frozen base of outer heaven, the next you're steering remote-controlled missiles in first person, or using ketchup to escape prison. In short, it's a masterpiece, still capable of making new games feel laughably simple. Snake, I'm counting on you. Not only did the original Baldur's Gate take the themes and mechanics of advanced Dungeons and & Dragons and popularise them for the masses, but it also set Bioware on the course to creating some of the best story-driven RPGs ever made. With a complex reputation system that affects how characters treat you, and thoughtful dialogue which means many of the characters within it are still memorable today. A result of 90 man years of development spent simultaneously creating the game's content and the Bioware Infinity Engine. Many of the Bioware hallmarks, such as the ability to romance your party members, didn't arrive until 2000's Baldur's Gate 2, Shadows of Arm. But the original is where the Bioware RPG story truly begins. While Metal Gear Solid showed the joys of open-ended stealth games to the masses, Thief the Dark Project provided a more nuanced experience for PC gamers. While at the time it wasn't held in such high esteem as Unreal or Half-Life, the influence of Looking Glass's complex stealth sandbox is clear to see now. Thief's triumph is in its systems. It uses advanced light and sound to truly let you live in the moment, with floors that made different sounds and weapons that replicate real-life physics. 
and it has complex artificial intelligence, which prioritizes player interaction and improvisation above learning levels and paths. It's perhaps the first proper example of the true emergent gameplay that we now take for granted. And without Thief, we wouldn't have the likes of Dishonored, Hitman and Splinter Cell. Ah! In a year full of firsts, Fallout 2 might sit a little uneasily on this list, but it took everything the original did well, refined it, and delivered on the promise of a rich and original video game setting. The success of the second game finally moved the RPG out of the fantasy dungeon, and without it, gaming's love affair with sprawling nuclear wastelands might never have fully developed. The sequel expands on the wasteland setting, removes the frustrating time limit, and adds greater moral ambiguity to a series famed for its shades of grey. At the time, Fallout 2 was the definitive post-apocalypse experience, with a threatening grown-up story of slavery prostitution and organized crime, and it's still the place to start if you're going back to find out what Fallout really used to be about. There are things you must know. Some of the games on this list are here because they're best-in-class examples of new genres, or because their stories stand the test of time. And while Unreal is a standout shooter in its own right, featuring a surprisingly compelling main story and a brilliant, mysterious alien world, it's the engine itself that changed the gaming landscape. Epic's Tim Sweeney had to create a toolset to rival that of old enemy id Software. One element was to use the 16-bit or real color environments, as opposed to the previous standard of 8-bits. Add to that complex light blooms, fog effects and composite skies, and you can see why Unreal was such a leap ahead. It may have been eclipsed by Half-Life, but that says more about 1998 as a year for games than it does about Unreal. Without it, we wouldn't have got Bioshock, Gears of War, Mass Effect or countless other fantastic games. Yep, that's right. In addition to all the other incredible games on this list, 1998 also gave us Half-Life, a first-person sci-fi shooter that challenged everything we know about the hobby. Spare a thought for the other amazing titles of 1998, who went into November hoping they'd be the most important game of the year. Quite rightly, Half-Life was universally acclaimed, instantly recognized as the best shooter since Doom. There are no cutscenes, it's not a shooting gallery, the plot is advanced by scripted sequences that you're always a part of. It's an immersive, interactive experience that's somehow as impressive now as it was then. And if you think we're being unnecessarily gushing, go back and give it a try. The fact that this was released 20 years ago, on top of eight other titles that still feel innovative today, says everything about how good 1998 was for games. Please like this video if you have fond memories of any of the games on this list, subscribe to Logitech G for more weekly shows, and let us know in the comments below what year you think was the best for gaming. Thanks for watching!